Okay, first of all, uh, this is just a piece I, I mocked up, so I didn't do all the fine finishing on it, all the roundovers just right. It's, it's for demo purposes only for me to refer back to how I did things. The most notable difference between mine and um, my slide and the one at, uh, in the fine woodworking article is the green and green detailing I did. This little uh, kind of a cloud lift affair of sorts uh, was on the original uh, gamble table and this little guy in here that looks, it looks like he's there to slide on the mechanism. Uh, that's all um, to accommodate the uh, uh, design of the gamble uh, dining table. But let's open, let's open it up and see what's going on inside. Okay, as you can see, uh, this little detail is faux. What's really riding on things, this rides right here on there, and these washers hold it in the slot. The washers are neat because they are adjustable for tension. If they, if they, if they ever starts binding up, you could take this part a uh, hundred years from now and adjust. You can kind of shim under there a little bit, but you can get it riding just right. This, these, these details were original to the fine woodworking article. In there, in the article, it'll tell you how far apart to put them and how far you can cross over the slides, all that technical stuff. Um, you can see I do a lot of uh, notes to myself, do better job centering washers next time, okay? That's something to keep in mind. Here's all my little marks for where to line these guys up. Now, one thing that I did that was different is this right here, this set screw. And this is kind of a special set screw. So as you can see, this set screw has a little post on the end of it where there's no threads. Uh, I need that because this guy's going to run up against that washer to stop the whole mechanism. And I don't want um, threads on there to get all bunged up. I'll probably, I might not ever be able to back that set screw all the way out if, if the threads get all bunged up. I have put a threaded insert in here to hold the set screw. And he'll come through there. So let's put this guy back together. And he's going to stop right where I want him. Now, uh, I would refer back to the old fine woodworking article because it'll tell you how much overlap you need and, and get down to the specifics. But this is a really neat slide. I like it, it's adjustable. Uh, I've used it for years.